Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you guys this morning? Good. How many of you have been fishing before? Ooh, quite a few. Do you find it fun or boring? Fun. Sometimes fun. Sometimes fun? What's, what makes it fun? When you catch a fish, yeah. I have a story for you guys. So me and my friend went fishing once, and it was pretty close to the end of the day. We cast out our line before supper. We had a little fish on the line. And then out of nowhere, a great big fish came and ate the little fish. So then we had the big fish on the line. Well, we wanted to reel it in, because it was a big fish. So we were reeling and reeling, and then finally we got up to the boat, it was this big! No, it wasn't that big. Some of you are shaking your head no. What about that big? Eh? Okay, I'm just messing with you. It's about that big. <laughs> so what would you guys have needed in order to believe that it was this big? Faith, yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> A little in the ocean <laughs> in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. Our lakes aren't that big in Wisconsin, so I don't know about fish that big. What about a picture or even like a mount where you could touch and feel it? Would you guys need that just to believe that it was that big so you could see it for your own eyes? Yeah? Well, one of Jesus' disciples was the same way. All of his friends were telling him, Jesus was risen. And he's like, nah, no he wasn't. I have to be able to see him and touch him and feel where his, the nails went into his hands. So Jesus appeared to him and he, he showed him and he's like, hey, this is where the nails were in my hands. And we might be like, how could, you, how could you doubt? Like, all your friends told you Jesus was risen, but have you guys had times when you doubted? Like, maybe your parents told you something and you're like, there's no way. No, you've never had that happen? Yeah, okay. But we are the same way. We're sinful and we do doubt every once in a while. But you know what? It's okay, because when Jesus died on the cross for all of our sins, he died for all the doubt that we have too. It's pretty awesome, right? All right, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross and thank you for rising from the dead. I mean. If it wasn't for that, none of our sins would be taken away and we wouldn't be with you in heaven. Thank you for all of the blessings you give us and um, help us to always remember that we do believe and help us overcome our unbelief. In your name we pray, amen.